All right, what's up, traders? It's Mark here at Dino Trading. Oh, boy. This week was fucking insane. Unless you were hiding under a rock, the markets basically fell apart. Literally fell apart this week. And this was probably, at least from what I can remember, this was probably the biggest two-day drop on the NQ in history. We're talking almost 600, 700 points on the NQ, right? So 600 times four, what is that? 2,400 price ticks for you futures traders. 2,400 pips for you Forex traders. And by the way, before I get into this, you Forex traders, you gotta stop trading Forex and start looking at futures. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, hope you guys were able to capture some of these huge moves and uh, I hope to God you guys were short. Um, all of you longs got absolutely murdered, and uh, sh you know being short was was your ticket this week. So what you have on the screen here is your typical five minute chart on the biggest trading day ever for the NQ futures. Now this looks great in hindsight, right? It looks great in hindsight. But as it's printing in real time, for example, let me put my mouse on approximately the futures market open, which is about 7 a.m. So right there, okay? To the right of that, where are the signals, right? On a candlestick chart, where are the fucking signals? To me, everything to the right of that blue vertical line is confusing, cluttered, and a big fucking mess, right? How do you power through that on the biggest trading day ever, right? And more importantly, how on earth do you spot trends, right? If you were looking for shorts, where is your short signal on this bullshit candlestick chart, right? Now, more than ever, spotting a trend is extremely critical to your trading success. I can just tell you that right now. Volatility is going to remain elevated, at least through the elections, probably well into next year. And there's probably a very big shift that's going to be happening in the market, right? You want to be on the right side of that trend, right? If you're not able to spot the trend, folks, don't even bother trading. Just find something else to do. I mean, there's no nice way to say that. Excuse me if that comes across as being rude, but again, I don't care what system you use. I really don't. However, if you want to enjoy any kind of success in the market, you have to be able to spot the trend and you have to be able to stay in the trend, especially last week. Last week was one of only two weeks all year. Think about that two trading days out of 200, right? Where you just killed it in the market. We're talking $50,000 days, $80,000 days, six figure days, right? With proper position size. So don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't make a fortune in the market. You can, as long as you're careful, you're diligent, and you know how to spot trends. And like I said, this was the biggest trading day ever on the NQ, right? So what do we do? We take this bullshit candlestick chart, and with one click of our mouse, we make that chart look like this, okay? Let me go ahead and draw that same blue vertical line right there, okay? Same blue vertical line, right? Proximate market open. Now I want to ask you guys, everything to the right of that blue vertical line, do you see any group of signals that let you know to look for shorts? Right? Does this entire day look clean? Does it look organized? Does it look efficient? Do you think this simplifies your trading and makes it easy? right? Folks, I'm seeing several easy short signals. Let me draw them out for you, all right? So you guys know what we do here. Let me clean up this 
blue vertical line to make it clean. You guys know, you've seen this before. Short signal number one. Short signal number two. Short signal number three. Can you guys tell me what comes next? That's right. Draw the retracements. Draw the high and low. Done. Draw the high and low. Done. Draw the high and low. Done. Once again, folks, look at this trend chart and contrast it to this five-minute candlestick chart. You tell me which chart fucking nails the start of the trend to the exact tick, right? Let's go ahead and draw those boxes just like that. You guys see those boxes? That was the short signal on every single trade for the biggest trading day on the NQ ever. Okay, you had three short signals, period. How do you quantify those signals? That's how you quantify the signals, right? These numbers are real numbers, folks, that traders are making every time the market gives you these kind of moves, right? These, I mean, the market's going to move, right? You know that the market's going to move. You're either on the right side of that trade or you're out of the market doing whatever it is that you do, right? You were either short or you were out of this market. Right? Listen, you've, you've heard me say this again and again. I'm not going to stop saying it. The only way to make money in any market, not just this NQ futures, although I love it, you know, I talk about it a lot, but any market, you want to make this kind of money, you have to trade with the trend, period. Don't fall for these bullshit indicators. Don't fall for these bullshit chat rooms, courses. People email me a hundred times a day asking if I run a chat room. I don't even bother replying. There's not a single professional trader on earth that has the energy, the time, or even the desire to run a chat room. Why the fuck would anybody want to run a chat room when they're making so much money trading? Right? At the end of the day, this dino bars is professional trading software you run on your computer. I don't do chat rooms. I don't do courses. This is just software that I firmly believe is going to simplify your day trading learning curve. Futures, Forex, stocks, doesn't matter what you trade. I firmly believe that anybody can take my dino bars and make money with it consistently. Is every day going to look like this on the NQ? Of course not. Folks, this has only happened twice ever. This is the second time it happened, right? But if you're diligent, if you're patient, these trend days are going to come. And if you have the right software, if you're waiting for the trend to start, this is going to show you how to get in at the beginning of the trend right here, right here, and right here. Not in the middle, not in the end, the beginning of the trend is where you're going to make the majority of your income in your life. Okay? So folks, I firmly believe volatility is back in the market. It's here to stay. Volatility is a day trader's best friend. You should hope that every single day was like this on the market, right? And as long as the volatility is here to stay, we're going to continue to get crazy, crazy, crazy fucking moves every day, every week. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next trade.